Hi, this is John Hillbrand with InfoSheets.com. What I'm going to show you today is a password generator. And the um, let me first show you uh, what the actual coding looks like. And that's basically through a hidden section. And basically we're randomizing a sets of numbers. That will be the ASCII code. And then we randomly select from one of the columns. This is column 0, column 1, column 2. So this randomly selected column 1 and that was ASCII code 71 and the result is a G. It will then combine all of those in the, uh, the bottom of the uh, uh, calculations and then we have a choice of with symbols or without symbols and basically based on that choice we uh, based on that choice we will um, get this, this password so let's say we're going to go with a 10-digit password and we can just hit generate, generate, generate. And we can see that we're, we're not getting symbols. If we hit an X or a, a uppercase X, we'll get the symbols. Now, with symbols, it's very hard to translate into the keyboard. So I would imagine that you would do use a copy-paste method. And because of that, I chose to make it have a copy available to you that you could then paste it somewhere, uh, maybe on a website or something. Um, if you have this on delete or deleted that and do a generate you would get the standard upper lowercase all the numerical sequences. The real beauty of this form is actually the ability to to just hit this button and we can hit it repetitively until we like the password. Once we like it we can move on and we can just keep pasting a new password. You can see how I have created a standard table here, and I like to use tables um, in my designs because I think I like the idea of being able to sort um, sort names. And it, by the way, a table will keep the references to the passwords, um, whereas otherwise you might have to use a complicated sort method. But that's a, another design issue. But the bottom line is that if you had your uh, your individuals from your company all pasted into columns B and C, you would just be able to paste into the column. And by the way, it doesn't require, this, this macro doesn't require anything about this particular table. We can paste anywhere we want. So as long as we keep this password in the actual um, page 2, we will actually be able to import your table exactly as it is. And so if your column for passwords was over here in G, you would just simply paste it over there. I simply have this design here if you wanted a, a simplified method of, of, uh, of having a, cusp, a, a client name address password. And I think it looks pretty clean that way. Hopefully you do too. And I think I've shown you everything that's available with this password generator. If you would like to download it, it's available for $7.50 from my website at theinfosheets.com. And if you need any special Excel or Access programming, you can contact me from that site as well. Thank you. This is John.